What is up guys, my name is Dylan, welcome to the first ever Splatoon commentary on some of my own gameplay from playing Splatoon here on Gooperative Gaming's YouTube channel. Now traditionally we are a Twitch channel, but we're sort of shifting our focus, maybe expanding if you will, trying to make more content out there for you guys that maybe don't know who I am, uh, and some of those that uh, maybe can't catch all my streams and things like that. What we are doing today is we're actually taking and reviewing some of our gameplay that we had in Turf War as I begin to learn the Slosher. As you guys may know, Slosher is one of my favorite weapons, but I am not the best at it. Traditionally, finding myself put in situations to get murdered, uh, get splatted, uh, it's sometimes just risky plays that don't need to happen. Now, I have been playing Disclosure for about two, two and a half months now, not even quite two and a half months, and I'm an A plus 30 rank, so uh, I've been up to S one time and I got knocked down a few times, but so we live comfortably in A to A plus area, eventually in S, but alright, now as I said, we are playing Turf War, so this isn't going to be any sort of ranked matchmaking of any sorts, uh, we are going to be playing uh, just to sort of learn the slosher, nothing like ranked, nothing that can really affect me or hurt me. Now, I come out the gate pretty strong with... Uh, something I've been struggling with has been inking too much of the zone, getting really stuck. Now, on Turf War, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it kind of makes you very, uh, very nearsighted, and then I tend to run into danger a little bit too soon. So as we jump off here, we're really trying to get some high ground, see where people are, uh, and we missed a good splat bomb opportunity. Still got the splat there, though. Uh, in ranked, that wouldn't have fly uh, at all. I think I would have gotten splatted there pretty easily. We got one guy at the end here. Again, ooh, pretty close, and I missed the, uh, bomb slosh opportunity again, giving him the chance for a shield, and ultimately, he, I believe he got away now. Here we are looking at another slosh shirt. He got me. I ran out of ink because I used two ink bombs. Another problem I have, using ink bombs a little bit too liberally. Gotta be a little bit more conservative as they do hinder my ability to slosh. Now, I did splat him. That wouldn't have flown in rank mode, but then, as I charge an E-leader, I get put in my place. That's one thing I do have a problem with is knowing when to stay out of sniper range, how to get closer to those charges, really make an impact there on those guys. So, we're gonna keep moving forward here. Uh, now again, I saw the I saw the E-leader uh, sort of scoping around, didn't really see much, and we see one shot fly in front of my face, I didn't turn fast enough, got murdered by the T-Tech, or sorry, the Wasabi. Uh, the big problem I had there, didn't even look at my options, I, I have a tendency to get a little nearsighted and move directly ahead of me, move forward. I don't see, I don't look at my options, I don't verify that where I may be is safe. Now we see this easy opportunity, of course, Ink Strike. Got him with a bomb and with a slosh, but not enough damage to actually get him. So a little uh, confused myself a little bit and ended up having to sort of readjust, get him with the second slosh. We're going to come here at the E-Leader again. Uh, at this point, I think I was testing myself to see if I could really make a charge on an E-Leader, figure out how to get around those chargers. Still not quite getting it, uh, and I may just have to learn how to avoid them. Uh, all right, we're going to go and continue to move forward. They're, they're ink striking our, our zone. The turf closest to our base, obviously, to sort of keep us off track a little bit. Uh, we have to take a little bit more time getting to them. And it's working. They're obviously in domination of this ink out here. Now, I saw that E-leader out there. He's about to get me again. Got the ink strike off. Trying to make a stealth move on him. Don't know if it's really going to work here. We're going to take a quick peek, move around the side. We're really getting those splat bomb hits, but those are not enough to splat any of these guys. And uh, I missed a few shots. Ran out of ink because of my bomb and got splatted. One thing I'm struggling with as somebody with a slosher is I am completely unable to stop using those bombs. At the same time, if I miss two sloshes, it's pretty much game over with any slosher unless you are highly skilled at maneuvering. All right, we're going to keep moving here. Uh, they are still pushing us back pretty good. We keep having to retake some of our own turf on our side, becoming very haphazard to try to move out here. Uh, and that E-leader puts me in my place for the third time this game, I believe. So uh, we'll see one thing right here is that uh, most of our most of our team is taking uh, a lot of time and they were being splatted themselves, including myself. And we'll see that here at the in-game reel. We'll see uh, a lot of people remaining splatted. Uh, you will see a bunch of, you know, one and fives, etc. Uh, the biggest thing we struggled with as a team was the fact that we were getting splatted so often we were not able to actually make any sort of comebacks. We were not working cohesively. So I went four and five. We had one and three, one and five, and two and six. So everybody negative, some more than others, as 
as far as splatting is. Again, splatting isn't the main point to this game for Turf War specifically. In most other ranked modes, uh, you would actually be fine going 4 and 5 or 4 and 7 in some cases. Things like that because if you're laying enough ink and you're fighting fairly conservatively, you're going to be okay. But being able to get those clutch splats, being able to not go completely negative means that you're able to fight the good fight, get people off of where they are to continue inking that turf. And that's what we saw there as our team just could not seem to fight that good fight, kept losing. Uh, and as we got splatted, it gave them an opportunity to really lay that ink down. We're going to go into a second turf war match here. Now, this is turf war on Black Belly, one of my favorite maps, one of my most hated maps. Uh, and we're really going to see how this plays out here. Now, we do have a, uh, looks like a kelp. Uh, we have a dual squelcher on our team. Of course, uh, looks like an inzap as well as myself here. Uh, now, you'll see again, I, I get a little hung up on that guy there. Not too big a deal. But again, I'm trying to uh, get ink down and then keep moving. Trying to make sort of an offensive push. The thing I've realized is the sooner you can get a few splats out. Ooh, and uh, we, got a, we got a splatter scope on me there. Didn't see, obviously, a scope. Uh, didn't see anybody aiming at me. Uh, but uh, got to be careful not to get too many sloshes out. Uh, get a slosh and keep moving. Uh, and that's something I think I'm going to struggle with this match. But we're going to continue to see. But yeah, uh, let's see here. Now we're going to move forward. We see that threat ahead of us. I go right for him. Trying to really optimize my Slayer capabilities here. Trying to really learn how to get those splats in a tight situation. Don't see him anywhere to be found though. So we keep moving. Just a few sloshes out there. Just to make him panic a little bit. We want to really pull back though. Uh, less experienced players. I think would have maybe moved forward further into their turf knowing uh, they maybe would have gotten uh, splatted. So we want to go ahead and keep moving here. Now we're getting some turf. We are taking a little bit too much time to lay down some ink as far as getting two, three, four sloshes out. We want to just do uh, one, maybe two, and then uh, move on. Uh, lucky I got that splat there. I think I had some assistance. Did not earn it wholeheartedly, but that's okay. We're going to keep moving. We see this strawberry lemonade battle going back and forth, back and forth. They keep inking this middle turf where we really need to be. Now, this is a, if this was the E leader from last match, I guarantee he would have splatted me three to four times by now. Not a commentary on this player's skill. He is in turf war, so not that big a deal. He may be learning a weapon just the same as I am, but I, I do give him plenty of chances to, uh, to splat me, and he doesn't quite take those. Now, we're going to go ahead and lay this down here. I, again, could have gotten splatted. He could have jumped off. Got some easy splat on me there, but I went ahead and took the opportunity knowing his skill was a little less than mine in that particular scenario. Got the splat. Got the splat there. Got another splat. Actually, pinging Booyah, thinking I was going to get splatted myself just because of close quarters combat. There we go. Got a fourth splat. And uh, unfortunately, that was it for me on that one. Got the T-Tech. Uh, but we're going to keep moving forward here. It looks like, from what I can tell at this point in the game on my map, I was uh, believing that my team had a pretty good lead. Uh, but we were not going to give it up so easily. Go ahead, uh, put some bombs out there. Uh, poor placement there. I actually got the side of that ramp with the bombs. Uh, the bombs are best when used on flat surfaces or climbing. Uh, in that case, that turf was pretty much always uh, already inked before I laid that bomb down. We're going to keep moving here. Obviously, you see me getting one, two slosh out there. Getting a little bit better about keeping my numbers in check. We're going to lay this ink strike. We actually lay it on their turf on their end. Maybe just something to deter them from running out as full speed. But uh, we're going to keep moving here. We had a sprinkler we had to get rid of. That was a uh, clutch sprinkler placement on their part, really making us have to work for our own turf to get it back. Now we're going to push forward just a little bit, just to scare them maybe. Get them off there. And uh, that's a dual splat for our team and theirs. Uh, keep moving forward here. And just putting down general ink, nothing too big. Uh, looks like we have everything pretty much covered on our end, so I really wasn't worried at this point about doing too much for our team that we didn't already have. And that will be game. We'll see how this pans out for us here in the long run. Uh, I will notice uh, skill levels were a little bit more equal on that one. Uh, as far as who was learning what, it looked like people were just learning weapons in general. Um, got lucky with a few of those sloshes. Should have got murdered a little sooner. Maybe need to turn up my sensitivity to be able to get that whip around a little quicker here. Now, I went 7-2, and 1-5. and five. We had a 3-2, uh, and two, I believe, and a 5-3. and three. So, that's a good demonstration there. Is Nobody went overwhelmingly positive except myself. That was my goal, though. Uh, everybody else was just really good at laying ink, getting that turf really covered up, and that's something that's very important about turf war, uh, whether you're playing that competitively in PBs or scrims, it is very important to know that you don't always have to play that slayer role. It is very important to be able to hold your own. And we saw that our team was able to get at least a few splats, hold their own in certain scenarios, or even get double splats, making that trade with the opponents. Thank you guys for being here. This is three rounds of my own commentary on some of my own gameplay. I hope that this was maybe a little insightful for those of you learning Slosher. For those of you maybe interested in Splatoon 2, seeing what the game is like and maybe how it will evolve. This is not going to be the same in Splatoon 2. Things will change. 
I hope you guys like the commentary. I hope you guys like the gameplay. If you like more, hit that subscribe button. Remember, youtube.com slash cooperative gaming. We also have twitch.tv slash cooperative gaming. That is our mainstay. That is what we do nine times out of ten. We are streaming most days of the week except Sundays, uh, generally from 5.30 in the afternoon. That's p.m. Central Time to about 8.30 p.m. Fridays, we stream from 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. We get that extra long late night cast. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it very much. I cannot wait to see you on the next episode. You guys have a great evening. Feel free to leave comments below. Thank you and good night.